ready? Hello Gisters! The other day I was on the train to Edinburgh with my notepad out thinking about writing something for the gist when three strangers joined my table. They then chatted for the whole of the journey making it very difficult for me to concentrate on anything at all. Anyway, as we got closer to Edinburgh they started to talk about the Monty Hall problem. One of them had read something about it but couldn't quite understand the outcome. As they got more and more confused I thought to myself this would make an excellent Just the Gist video. So here we go, start the clock. Monty Hall is hosting a game show with very simple rules. A contestant is invited onto the stage where there are three large doors, A, B and C. Two of the doors hide goats, whereas the third hides a Ferrari. Choose a door, says Monty, you'll win whatever is behind it. The contestant picks B. Monty opens one of the doors to reveal a goat. Two doors left, says Monty, do you want to change your mind? The contestant is unsure. Most people think that it doesn't matter. There is a 50-50 chance of being correct since there are two doors left, right? Wrong. You are twice as likely to win if you always switch doors, and here's why. When the contestant chooses B, there is a 1 in 3 chance of being correct. This remains the same whatever Monty does. And so by sticking with the original choice, the contestant wins 1 out of 3. But the two remaining times must be when the Ferrari is behind the other door, meaning that if you always switch, you win 2 out of 3. This works because if A hides the Ferrari, Monty will reveal the goat behind C, and if C hides the Ferrari, Monty will reveal the goat behind A. But in both cases, switching from door B will result in winning. And so if you always switch, you are twice as likely to win than if you stick with your original choice.